Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to ServiceNow 911. I am starting a new series which will help you understand the concepts in a very, very easy way. And that is a conversation. And we call it as a drill down method. So we pick up a topic and drill down into that. Okay. We start with the very basic and when slowly, slowly we reach to the good questions, which generally people forget. Okay. Here I'm trying to build uh, the complete foundation for you. So I hope you like this concept. Let me know your thoughts after this video. Okay. So in this, we are starting with the very first topic that is agentic AIs. Okay. So stay tuned. Thank you. Hello, sir. Good evening. I have some doubts regarding agentic AI. Okay. Please tell me your doubts. Yeah, sir. I have some questions. First question is what is service now agentic AI? Okay. Uh, so service now agentic AI is a new technology inside the ServiceNow platform that uses artificial intelligence in a smarter way. Unlike the regular AI that gives you response or suggestions, this AI can provide or make decisions and take actions on its own, like a human agent would do, okay? That's why we call it as an agentic. It means it acts like an agent that work independently to make things faster and easier for users. For example, if employee need a new laptop, previously they had to submit a request and a human agent would handle it, right? But now, Agentic AI can understand the request, check for approval and place an order automatically without the help of the human. Okay, sir. If it's work like an agent, how does it understand what to do? Great question. So the AI can understand natural language. When user type something like, I need a new mouse, then AI process that language and figure out three things. First one is, what is the user asking for? It means the intent of the user. Second is, which system or service need to act here like action? And third is, what step must be followed, which is the workflow? So this AI translates human language into a system actions, okay? Yeah, okay, sir. How does the AI decide the order of steps to take? Okay, so in this case, AI uses pre-trained workflows and service now internal process models. It means the system is already defined rules like uh, create a request, get approval, assign to asset team, and then finally start the delivery process. So AI automatically choose and follow these steps based on the logical conditions. I mean, agentic AI, okay? What are pre-trained workflows or process models? Okay, okay. Pre-trained workflows are set of steps that are already created inside ServiceNow. They define what tasks need to be done and in what order to complete the process. Give you an example in password reset workflow. Three things we have to do. First one is verifying the identity. Second is resetting the password. Third is send the confirmation to the user. So the ServiceNow agentic AI uses these predefined steps to carry out these tasks automatically. Okay, sir. If workflows are already defined, what's unique about the AI role? Great question. Workflows are already there, but earlier human had to trigger them, right? But now, Agentic AI can understand the situation, automatically start the right workflow and make decisions during each step like handling error or approvals. So this kind of thing removes the need of a human to manually start the task and validate it. What does it mean when AI takes intelligent decisions? Okay. It means that uh, AI doesn't blindly follow the fixed steps. Okay, so you have certain steps and it will not always follow those steps blindly. It understands the situation and then chooses the right step, right action. For example, if a user has already requested a mouse and tries to request again, in that case, agentic AI can check, is the earlier request still pending? Is the new item allowed? Has the manager already approved the request of the user? Okay. So real time, it will check all these things. And then finally, based on that, AI can cancel 
or merge the new request. This kind of smart filtering and context-based action is intelligent decision-making. I hope you got it. Yes, sir. How does the AI get context or background information? So AI get context from ServiceNow data and history. It has the access to past user request, user role and department, approval history of the user, system rules and policy. So AI makes sure to use all these things to make informed decisions for each situation. If AI does everything, are human agents no, no longer needed? Yeah, this is a good question and people are worried about it. But let me tell you, humans are still needed, but their roles have changed now. Earlier, agents did repetitive tasks like resetting the password or forwarding the request. But now AI is doing that and the human agent can focus on more important things like uh, handling complex or exception cases, supervising AI activity or uh, talking to customers when needed. So humans are now handling high value tasks, whereas AI is doing all the repetitive tasks. And you know, the volume of repetitive tasks is so many because the users are asking same questions. Each user are asking questions of the same kind many times. Okay, so this is the uh, answer I can say here. Okay, sir. What happens if the AI makes a mistake? Okay, if AI take a wrong step, let's suppose, and it may happen, right? Because AI is still learning and it may do some mistakes. So in this case, number one, the system keep the log of everything, okay? The human agent are alerted. And then finally, AI can be given the feedback to improve itself. So ServiceNow uses a human in the loop system, meaning human can still part of the decision making loop so that things may not get out of the hand always. Next question. What does human in the loop mean? Okay, so human in the loop means AI perform action but human is still involved in the review, approve or reject AI decision. This ensure controlled automation, not blind trust in the machines. And it is variable needed, I guess. What technologies does this AI use? Okay, so ServiceNow Agentic AI uses a mix of generative AI and machine learning, okay? Generative AI in the case to understand and respond in the human language, whereas machine learning to learn from data and improve over time. Together, they create an intelligent and adaptive AI system. What's the difference between generative AI and machine learning? Uh, so generative AI create new responses, like I said before, okay, like answers, suggestions, or workflows from human input, whereas machine learning identify patterns from data and learn to predict and improve the result. For example, if the user say my system is slow, in this particular case, generative AI understand the sentence and try to find out the intent of the user and machine learning check how similar issues were resolved in the past and then come up with something which is correct and easy to understand for the user. Okay. AI only used for IT related tasks? Uh, no, AI is not used for only IT related tasks. It is used in many business areas such as HR uh, for employee onboarding, leave request, etc. Customer service for ticket handling, in finance for expense approvals, in facilities for room booking, maintenance. Okay, in every uh, vertical it is being used. So Agentic AI, we can say, can help automate any business process. What is needed to train this AI? Uh, so to train the AI, you need historical data. That is the past cases, example use cases, business rules, feedback from the user, all these things together help AI to learn what to do in different situations. What service of features does this AI use? Okay. so. Agentic AI work through features like Now Assist, AI Search, AI Agent Studio. Okay, all these are helping uh, so Agentic AI to work through. These tools help integrate AI into a real world workflows and tasks as well. So what is Now Assist? 
so now assist is an ai powered assistant that help users by answering the questions suggesting actions auto fill the forms finding the relevant documents as well okay along with more other things it improves user experience by making it fast and smarter okay do i need coding skills to use a genetic ai uh, no most service now ai features are low code or no code you can just use drag and drop tools and simplify configurations to set up ai workflows no programming or coding skills are needed here okay is agentic ai secure yes absolutely it follows an enterprise grade security that includes role based access controls data encryption audit trails gdpr and compliance support so everything in this agentic ai environment is designed to keep the data and actions safe and accountable okay does this ai improve over time yes ai is famous for this right uh, the ai keep improving through user feedback real time usage data learning from the mistakes or approvals so all these points all these things create a self improving ai system over time so my last question is what's the future direction of agentic ai okay so in the future agentic ai will become even more powerful uh, via you know fully autonomous agents uh, multi step task handled with no instructions smart coordination between different systems or uh, more human like understanding and reasoning okay it will move from supporting work to actual getting the work done on its own and service now is doing a great part in that they are making it more accountable more fast more reliable okay with the new use cases they are introducing in every step of agentic ai i hope uh, you understand all these questions and answers yeah, my uh, yes sir my all doubts are clear thank you so much